And as you are talking to him, really just pay attention to the details that come after. Before you even hear the word, he has something to tell you personally. Hallelujah. So just in under 30 seconds, just whisper to him one more time and pay attention to the word that will come to you before even the word is released. Come on, you can pray somebody. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can drop your hands. Hallelujah. How many are saying, I think I've really heard something from God in just these few minutes. Oh, glory to God. How many are saying, I really feel like God has spoken to me in just these little minutes that we're praying. Glory to me. Hallelujah. So we're just going to clap for Jesus, even as Pastor Moses is coming to give us the word. Let's just clap for Jesus.
The reason why you go to pray, the reason why you've come here is because the Lord wants to transform your life to make the world a better place. Praise the Lord. Without you, nobody will make this world a better place. Praise God. Without you, nobody can make you a better place. Praise the Lord. Without you, nobody will make your family a better place. Praise the Lord. No one will make this country a better place. Hallelujah. That's why you are praying. That's why you are studying the word of God. That's why you are singing in hymns. It's because God is concerned about those people around you. Hallelujah. Quickly. Zambia will not be a better Zambia without you. Do you know that? The Bible says you are the light of the world. If the Bible says you are the light of the world, look, if the Bible says you are the light of the world, it means the spiritual realm is a dark place. Without you, without you, there is no light. And if there is no light, there is no direction. Praise the Lord. That's why you are there as a light to give direction to the people of the world. Praise the Lord. So I want to give you profound things that will help you to make this world a better place. To make this world a better place, you only need one thing, and that is called grace. Praise the Lord. Grace. If you are going to change KMU for Jesus, grace. I want to make Zambia a better place. Grace. I want to minister the word of God mightily. Grace. I want to see that people may be transformed. Grace. I want to do things that nobody else has ever done in this world. Grace. Praise the Lord. Now, what is grace? Grace has been defined as unmerited favor, but that's not all. Grace is a divine enablement in your spirit that causes you to do things that you could have never done with your power or your might. Praise the Lord. So with grace, you can be able to help millions of orphans. You will not understand where the money will come from, but it will be there. Praise the Lord. With grace, you can be able to preach the gospel to give you and transform everybody to which that if grace was not there, you cannot be able to do that. Praise God. Now, what are the four steps to get grace? So that Zambia can be a better place for you. So that Kenya can be a better place for you. Number one. Number one. Through receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Let's read 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. Quickly 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. Five minutes, almost gone, maybe 15 minutes. Who accepts and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ before time began. So, the grace that you need is in Christ. Praise the Lord. The grace that you need is in Christ. Now, when you are born again, the grace you have, no matter what happens after that, it will not go lesser than the grace that was used for you to receive Christ. Hallelujah. That means by virtue of you receiving Christ, there is potential that you can change the world. Hallelujah. There is potential that in your family you can bring sanity there. Hallelujah. There is potential that at this school you can bring sanity and make you a better place. Praise the Lord. Why? Because you have got Christ. And in each same Christ Jesus, grace is found there. As long as it's in you, you have got grace to change the world. Hallelujah. Number two. Number two. Number two. Five minutes ago. Full standing of the word of God. Hallelujah. If you start the word of God, it's a matter of time. Soon or later. The world will watch you. Praise God. The people that look down on you, they will say, There comes a man that the Lord has given us. Hallelujah. Let's read it quickly. Let's read 2 Peter 1, verse 2. 7 Peter 1, verse 2. Grace and peace. 
peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So if you don't start the word of God, I wonder how you make your family a better family. Don't start the word of God. I wonder how you make this world a better world. He says, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God. Of God's word. Number three, quickly as you conclude. Through humility, praise God. James 4 verse 6, the Lord's Bible says, the Lord enables the proud and give more grace to the humble. Are you humble? Praise God. Do, are you teachable? Do you get instructions? Do you desire to learn? How is the name of your humility? The humble. But it gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Praise the Lord. That means if you are humble, especially the instructions of God, you will take over this nation. Hallelujah. The last one, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. And we are done. Hebrews 4, verse 14, 16. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have the high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness. Jesus is able to sympathize with your weakness, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. Next verse and the last one. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find the grace of help in time of need. What do you want? Is it an academic excellence? He says there is grace for you. Is it, is it changing the world? There is grace for you. Is it winning this nation for Jesus? Grace for you. Is it to lead them in your eyes? There is grace for you. He says when you need it, get this. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Hallelujah. They are jealous. We can do much better. Let's clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. There is grace for you. Amen.